Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, if you haven't seen our previous video, we spoke about Man City. Yep. What needs to be fixed, what's happening next. Um, and since another team is having sort of a similar run in terms yeah. of bad results, yeah, yeah. we're going to be talking about Tottenham Hotspur today. Um, obviously, they, they lost to Ipswich on the weekend. Uh, big talking points. Yeah. Their first Premier League win in 22 years. So that was probably... Probably before we were born, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Tottenham have come under a lot of fire recently. So, we're just going to be discussing and watch the game. No, I mean, saw the highlights. Yep. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's not looking good at Tottenham. Yeah, I mean, they were, what, they were turning up inside half hour, I think, or something, something like 20 like minutes. That, yeah. yeah, let us know if we're getting these right. Yeah, if we haven't yeah. watched the full game. Yeah, but, um, yeah, to go 2 0 down at home to a side like Ipswich, it's, it's worrying because they've spent so much in the summer, you know, and obviously mm. last season as well, Dragosin coming in. Um, and you'd think that they would sort of start to get that Spursy side out of them because you're getting so many new players in now yeah. that surely it must revamp them. But it seems like they're still still the same old Spurs. Um, mm. So inconsistent. Uh, their last five Premier League matches, they've won and lost, won and lost, and then won. It's just inconsistent. Do you know what I mean? It's just... yeah. Keeping on the results, we talk about the Galatasaray game. Yeah. This, I didn't I watched this game. all of it. Yeah. I, w I got home and obviously I saw the second half. Yeah. I don't think I've seen a team give the ball away. So Honestly, much. they were just constantly, it was, was defence versus attack for most of the yeah. game. Like, Osserman should have had about four or five goals. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Galatasaray made them look like, you know what I mean, a, a, a lower team in the Turkish league. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. they were just all over them. Like to Fraser Forster in goal, like the like that the certain players that are in there, like Dragosin and all that, they look the shell of themselves. And yeah, they were as you said, giving the ball away constantly, all the time. Yeah. My um, my dad's a Tottenham fan and yeah. he said that's the worst performance yeah. I've seen. And yeah. he's been supporting them for at least thirty odd years. Yeah, honestly, yeah, you watch for the first half there's this defence versus attack and that that standard, again, with the players that they've got, it shouldn't be like that. I think their best player was probably the youngster who got sent off. Um, um, that's it, yeah, 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 he didn't look too bad. But, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know they got Ossin and Galatasaray, but one player just can't put you on the ropes like that. No, I mean, Drew Merton's done really well as yeah. well. It's but again, that's probably, what, two players maximum? But again, he's up 34 35. Like, yeah, how can that guy be running the game? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not good enough. Yeah, and considering Tottenham were favourites to win the Europa League, yeah. performing like that, is yeah. Galatasaray doing that to you? Yeah. Imagine what the City will do, what Liverpool can do, Chelsea, exactly. Arsenal. I can keep going on, I can name teams. Yeah. They will punish you worse than Galatasaray. That's it. And, I mean, going on to the players this season, um, I don't think it's been good enough. Yeah, you've got the likes of Basuma, who's so inconsistent, obviously had the ban as well. Um, you've got the Saar in midfield, James he, Maddox. He, he's all right. Yeah, but he again, he's well. so inconsistent. Yeah, he's yeah. inconsistent. You know, you've got the likes of Son as well, who's Ooh. looked the shell of himself like the previous year. James Madison as well hasn't really anywhere near hit, hit the heights of last year. And now I'm sort of starting to see the hole that Kane has left. I know Solanke's come in and he's been okay. He's done all right. But last year, Son was the man carrying him this year. Now that Son ain't carrying them, will they be able to get to the top four? Yeah. Will they be able... Because I don't think Solanke's that man just yet. Not yet. I just feel like he's got to have another season at Spurs. But... It's either Son or Madison's got to start stepping up now, otherwise they will slowly start slipping down the table because they've got so many inconsistent players around them that have good games rather than good seasons. Yeah, so, I know I've spoke about him before, but that's like Romero. Yeah. One one game he's brilliant. That's he's it. He's getting sent off. He's yeah. doing reckless tackles. It's the same what I think of uh, Mickey van der Ven as well. I feel yeah. like he's good in a few games. The next game he's oh, terrible. Should we get on to the manager? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I mean, I like the way Postacoglu plays. Mm-hmm. It's very positive thinking, very forward thinking. Yeah. But I think with the competition he's up against, does he need to switch it up? Yeah, I, I feel like he does. Yeah, he does. I mean, they've gone from one extreme to the other. They were like, so Conte and Mourinho playing probably the most defensive football mm. in the league to now the most attacking. And it's just too overboard, I think, sometimes. Yeah. You like, need to find the, like, the medium That's spot. it, the balance. It's sort of attack, attack, attack. And get caught in a counter-attack constantly and yeah. it's just it kills them it kills them at times is that bravery or stupidity it's both to be honest it I feel, yeah. yeah it's brave that they're <clears throat> I get what they're, they're doing though that's the way we play mate you know like, yeah. it's, like it's not just about that it's not about identity sometimes it's about getting results and yes your identity and your tactics and your philosophy is attacking football but 
you gotta have that balance, as you were saying. Like you gotta mm. have that balance of sitting back and containing yeah, the defenders to be able to do that defensively. Yeah. Like I said, Romero, when he wants to, yeah, is a quality defender. Yeah, and obviously Van der Ven probably the, he's the fastest man in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, by stat. So yep. it's not like he can no slouch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's just again, it's just showing that that balance. Yeah, and you see like the sides like Mourinho <coughs> that um, when they got the lead. It was like mission impossible to get sank out of them. You know, they sat yeah. back. They were tough. They were nasty at times. You know what I mean? The the cynical fouls that they do. That's what they got to be like. They got to be like a nasty, <clears throat> nasty team to play against. Yeah. And I feel like they're too soft. They're too push. Like you could push them over as easy as you want, really. Mm. And they can't be like that. Keeping with um, Ange. Mm -hmm. Whenever I've seen him. Now I'm not. A, I'm not a Tottenham fan. Tottenham yep. fans. Let me know if you agree. Mm -hmm. But. He, Every time I see him, he looks more frustrated and more fed up. Yeah, yeah. Which Every I don't like to see. Conference, yeah, because he's he... just like, he just, uh, just shrugs it off. His head's yeah. always down. Yeah. He's not, you know, giving the media a lot. And I know the media can get annoying. Mm. But if you're getting questions on your poor results, you're just looking down at the floor. That's it. You're like a little naughty schoolboy. Like, yeah. you don't know what to say. Yeah. Do you think it's him giving up or does he, or is he just run I don't think he's giving up just yet I mean he's just got them big signings of Solangi and all that so surely he can't be you know flagging now mm. but I feel like it's sort of disappointment in a way because he's got this team he knows what they can do and yet they're just throwing stuff away and mm. maybe it's more frustration and sort of disappointment um, but yeah, I don't think he's given up just yet. I mean, talking of um, managers' frustrations, mm -hmm. it's not the first time you've seen something like this. Conte. Yeah, yeah. I've got Conte down. The way he yeah. just went off in the press conference, that that was like a time bomb waiting to go off. Yeah, you just and, knew what was going to happen, didn't and you? And he spoke yeah. the truth. He was yeah. like, there's no you know, wanting to win. There's no desire to win. Yeah. And when you're a winner like Conte is and was, like the way he's transformed Inter, the way he transformed Chelsea, Yeah. You could like tell it was getting to him. He's doing it with Napoli now as well. Yeah, he's doing it at Napoli. Yeah. Um, the way he just went off. And obviously, yeah. Mourinho came out in the media and was like, the worst gig of my life was yeah. Tottenham. Yeah. The only team he didn't win a trophy at. That's it, yeah. So, is there something at Spurs? Is it is it deeper rooted? Is it higher Maybe. Up? I mean, did you hear the story about Daniel Levy giving out the medals before... Or the, the watches, the watches. Sorry, yeah, I sent yeah. this to you. Didn't yeah, I yeah, yeah. Know. And Larice was like, what, "What's going yeah, on?" Yeah, that's the, that's sort of a major red flag. That's come from the top as well. That yeah. comes from the top, and you can't like you're giving out what uh, Champions League final watches if you didn't know. They gave Champions League finalists watches engraved into the watch to the, every player before the Champions League final. You can't do that. Like you, could, yeah, you can't be. That's not the standard. The standard is you win that match and then you start. You know. To be fair, it was against that amazing Liverpool team, but even then, you, you should go out and have the confidence. Yeah, yeah you're rewarding them for getting to a final, but you've got to be rewarding them for winning the final. Do you know what I mean? And I, again, as you said, Loris highlighted it, and that's, it just made everyone sit back and go, this is deeper rooted. Like, this ain't just yeah. players. This is comes from the top. Mm. Um, and yes, yeah, so I do think it does go right to the top. To yeah. be honest. Um, does, da uh, does Daniel Levy need to set up, do you think? I don't think he's a bad. Again. I don't think he's a bad chairman in terms of the way he does business. I think. He's oh yeah, the in best. terms of doing yeah. business, he it will get every penny out of the yeah. deal. Like the way he got that hundred mil for Kane, he's That's thirty it. plus. Yeah. All right, yeah, he's an elite striker. Yeah. But what he's got six seasons left in him. Yeah. Hundred mil to get out of that is brilliant. And also look what he's done at the stadium. He's made the stadium yeah, one of the true. best in the year, in the world. But in terms of the way he does football, in terms of the way he probably looks at football, it seems like he's not the way that Spurs need to be. Yeah, that sort of golden generation when Pochettino was there, you know, he had like Ali coming through, a young Harry Kane, Son's. a Tongan, Alderweireld, Son, uh, Danny Rose, Dembele. Probably the left back in the league. That's it, yeah, yeah, Walker as well on the other Walker, side. Yeah. And maybe that was the sort of period that they should have won something. Now the team isn't as complete as it was back then, but mm. I feel like they've got to start, you know, taking competition seriously and not just being happy with scraping top four or getting Europa League in the league you know they've got to start going far in competitions to be taken seriously by players coming in and also people from the outside do you think they made a mistake in the second pot yeah I think I think you're now looking back at it nothing's really worked since Poch Poch just sort mm. of took them to the the highest anyone else has done. It sort of installed a, a stronger backbone in that Tottenham team, I feel, from what I can remember. Yeah. it was nearly, it was quite a while ago now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, but he definitely did. And their transfers as well, bringing through Deli Alley, you know, the way that he showed faith in the youngsters as well. And of course, that team after Conte was very shot to pieces. Because imagine your manager coming out in the interview yeah. going, basically, you're shit and you don't want to win. Yeah. It. It's going to rock your confidence. 100%, 100%. And in terms of what you said, what Possecobo has done for Tottenham, mm. it's brilliant. Personally, yeah. I don't think they should sack him. No, I don't think they should either. Each team goes through uh, an embarrassing result. Yeah. It happens. Mm. you just got to roll the punches. You yeah. can't let one result define your season. That's it, yeah. And that's what Tottenham's fans seem to do. It's like, oh, we're going to bottle it now. Yeah, yeah. But something needs to change. I don't know what that is. Do you think there's leadership in that team? I don't think there is. No, I don't think there is either, to be honest. I mean, if you think about Romero, obviously he's world champion. Yeah. But is he leader material? I think he is leader material, but you don't, you can't just have one. You yeah, can't he, have... Son ain't a leader, even though he's a quality, quality player. I don't think he's a leader. He leads by example rather than in the mm. dressing room. Again, no one's screaming out, as you said, a leader. Like They're all young players mm. looking to make their mark. So Tottenham fans, what do you think is going wrong at your club? Um, obviously, we're outsiders, so we're just yeah. shooting off the off the dome. That's it. Um, yeah, does Postacola need to go, or is there another issue that needs to be fixed? Let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll catch you next one, guys. See you later.